Welcome everyone. My name is Stefan Mohab and I'm a product manager on the Cobado team. And today we will be discussing the power of Cobado robotic testing to supercharge your Salesforce quality assurance. Salesforce testing can be difficult at times, especially for those who are using open source tools as well as some of the less advanced test automation tools out there. With those tools, you are relying heavily on locator strategies that rely on attributes, selectors, and X paths that are prone to change. With Kubata Robotic Testing, we are using actual text on the user interface to identify elements, along with powerful computer vision. We also offer a real no-code experience with our Salesforce recorder. Many other platforms claim no-code recording as well, but this is only part of the story. Because once your system under test changes or you need to modify your tests, you will need to either dive, dive deep into the code that the recorder generated or re-record your whole flow. At this stage, you are fixing existing test cases rather than creating new ones for the features that you are newly developing. And this leads to test depth. You are left with the choice of adding more personnel to the project to get the job done while accumulating even more debt or deprioritizing your quality assurance and risking costly defects in production. And we should avoid defects in production at all costs. But don't worry, our Salesforce recorder creates easy to comprehend low maintenance tests, which can be viewed and edited after the fact in either flow or script format. Most Salesforce environments are highly customized. For these custom environments, there are no out-of-the-box solutions available. Another factor that can be bothersome is the actual time it takes to create those tests. In addition, Salesforce uses advanced elements like modals and shadow DOM frequently, which can be challenging to test at times. Creating tests for these advanced elements can also be error-prone. Let's take the creation of any custom record. You are going to be creating custom records within a modal dialog. You will also be linking that custom record to other records. You will be filling out a lot of fields, pick lists, text boxes, and other elements. And this process can easily lead to errors. But today, I have something really exciting to talk to you about, a feature that will make your life much easier when it comes to creating tests against Salesforce. Introducing Salesforce Guidance. Salesforce Guidance is a Q editor feature that allows you to easily create tests against Salesforce within just a fraction of the time and effort that you are used to. Our intelligent guided authoring shows suggestions and guidance based on your particular Salesforce instance with all its customizations and complexities. Drag and drop pre-created actions which perfectly match the data on your particular Salesforce instance. Switch seamlessly between flow and script mode and use Salesforce guidance in combination with any of our other advanced test creation capabilities like Salesforce Recorder. But now enough with the talk, let me show you an actual demo. Now, I have set up my Cobato robotic testing environment with an empty Salesforce test suite. This Salesforce test suite is configured to pull data from a connected app running on my particular Salesforce instance, indicated by the username here. This means that I benefit from test authoring guidance coming straight from data that we pull from our Salesforce instance under test, which is uniquely powerful. Let me show you how it works in QEditor. In order to demonstrate Salesforce guidance, I've created a pretty simple test case called entering a lead. It currently only contains the app state home keyword, which prepares our system under test. Now we will start in scripting but no worries, all of this is also possible in the flow mode 
and we will get to that later. Now the power of Salesforce guidance is really when it comes to authoring. If I now click enter, I will be getting suggestions based on the context that I'm currently in as pertains to my Salesforce instance, as well as metadata coming from that Salesforce instance. So let me click enter here. A logical first step for anyone trying to automate Salesforce use cases is launch app. We are creating a new lead, so we are launching the sales app. Let's execute this one as well. And here we are in the sales app. Next up, we want to click on leads, right? Click text leads. Let's also execute this one. Now we would likely click on a button like new since we are creating a lead. So let's see the suggestions. Click text new. Perfect. Let's also click on the new button. And the cool thing about this is I'm only having live testing open in order to show you what's happening. We are not using any information coming from the UI of this Salesforce. It's all through the API. Now, let me actually switch to flow mode and show you another pretty cool thing. Views are syncing and I get a nice flow representation of my test case. You notice there is a new button called Salesforce Guidance as part of the keyword palette. And if I click on it, I get a ton of cool suggestions based on the metadata of my Salesforce instance. I can now click and search for lead here. And I will be presented with options that relate to lead creation and handling leads in general. Since we are trying to create a new lead, we will need to fill out all of these fields and can get quite cumbersome. And it will also require a lot of time and maybe also be a little bit error prone to do so. And that's actually why we created the draggable quick actions. So I can actually go ahead and drag one of these steps into my flow. And with the blink of an eye, I get all of these fields covered. So you can see phone, salutation, first name, last name, mobile, and so on. All of these fields would be automatically filled now. The only thing that is left for me to do now is entering the values that I want to see in the test cases. And that's it. As simple as that. Creating a test case within minutes or maybe even seconds. Pretty exciting stuff. And I want to say big kudos for the team for really digging deep and over delivering with this. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Bye.